Hello everyone and welcome to the sort of this like, emergency video that we're doing right now because Stellantis, the giant automotive group that now has over 14 brands of um, cars, car brands within them, has just unveiled their EV plan for the future and it is absolutely insane. Now since we are in the US, I'm going to be focusing on the main US brands, so that includes Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Chrysler, but these brands also include a whole bunch of other, including Peugeot, Citroën, and a whole bunch of other brands such as Fiat, Alfa Romeo, Lancia, and it goes on and on and on. So, but we're going to focus on these brands because that's what they talked about mainly for today, and this is kind of like the big releases that they have. So let's dive right in because there's a lot of stuff to get through. Okay, so before we um, dive into each of these ind individual brands, I'm going to kind of explain how this video is going to work. We're going to talk about Dodge, Jeep, and Ram primarily. Um, at first, I'm going to give you guys an overview of what's really going on at Stellantis and how this is going to be working out. So they are working on four full battery electric platforms. They're calling this Stel Stella Small, Stella Medium, Stella Large, and Stella Frame. So those are the four main um, platforms. The first three, Stella Small, Medium, Large, are unibody architectures. So that's pretty much what we've seen with most electric vehicles right now. Modular, um, high efficiency, high energy density um, platforms. Now, Stella Small is estimated to get around 300 miles of range on the maximum. Stella Medium will get 440 miles of range. And Stella Large will get up to 500 miles of range. Then we have Stella Frame. Stella Frame is a body on frame architecture. So, a body on frame architecture is a, basically a truck platform where you have the frame and then the body is kind of like bolted onto the frame. You guys got the deal with that. Um, so, you know, Ram 1500, you want to think of it like that, Ford F 150, those are all body on frame vehicles. Um, currently, the only body on frame electric truck on the market right now, or what will be on the market, is the Ford F-150 Lightning. So this is the same concept that Ford is doing, is where they're putting the battery packs in between the frame rails, kind of acting as like a structural um, strengthening member of the chassis, and the electric motors will be um, in the different subframes. Um, that's really big. They're saying on this one around 500 miles of range, and of course this is going to be underpinning Ram vehicles. Now they also said in their presentation today that there's going to be a new um, type of future propulsion or energy or something that they're calling, um, let me just pull this up real quick, REPB or Range Electric Paradigm Breaker. Now they didn't really explain on this too much and we don't really know what it's going to be, um, but they're saying it's going to transform the industry and that they're keeping it confidential right now. You know, when someone says that you're like, what is that supposed to mean? So I don't know if it's gonna be like a range extender or if it's gonna be some kind of hydrogen vehicle or some kind of crazy battery technology that we haven't seen yet. Um, but they have something they're working on and apparently it's gonna be crazy. So I guess we're gonna to have to wait and find out to see what happens with that um, down the road. Cause right now we don't have anything on that. Um, so I think first up, we're gonna to wanna to start to dive into these brands. And I think the first one, which we're gonna talk about is Dodge. Now, if you take a look right behind me on my screen back there, I actually have the logo that Dodge is bringing back, kind of like their old iconic Dodge Brothers logo um, for their new EVs. Now, it seems that they're gonna be launching their new EVs under this new um, sub brand called E-Muscle, um, which is very interesting. And Dodge's formula basically is saying that they want, they, they don't see electric vehicles as a new kind of replacement for gas vehicles, except they're seeing it as sort of a evolution of the um, propulsion power for a, a muscle car, as they want to call it. And they're using the um, technology of like electric vehicles kind of as a tool for their muscle cars, if that makes any sort of sense. That's kind of how the guy kind of proposed it in the video. So I'm like, interesting. We'll see how this works out. Um, but um, from what we've seen from the teaser video, I'll play it real quick. It looks crazy. Um, their new electric muscle car will be based on the Stella Large architecture. So they're saying battery packs are going to be ranging from all the way to the smallest and all their platforms. This goes for smallest down to 30 kilowatts, up to over 200 kilowatt battery packs. So this is the range of different battery packs they're going to be having um, for these new vehicles, which is huge, a huge, huge range of different battery sizes. Um, again, that's like under 300, like 200, all the way up to like over 500 miles of range. That's pretty impressive. So we'll see how they deliver on that. Um, now focus on, on this Dodge thing. We're going to see a few new cars coming out from Dodge um, that are going to be full electric vehicles. Their main kind of like 
showcase model is going to be this new electric muscle car. It currently doesn't have a name, but from the video and from the, some of the screenshots we can capture, it looks like an old Charger design kind of reimagined. Um, they had that um, really, really awesome logo smacked right in front and back, and it's illuminated, which is insane. Um, the entire grill, like the traditional um, Challenger Charger long grill is lit up, which is really cool. The body looks like an old car, like boxy and really muscly. I, I'm super, super excited for this. Um, again, they haven't gotten too specific on like powertrains or exacts of stuff, but they said it can do a four wheel burnout. So I'm gonna assume that it has four electric motors in order to do a four wheel drive burnout. Um, so I don't really know too sure about that, but we're gonna have to wait and see um, where that's gonna be heading towards because I think that's what they're kind of getting towards with this. Now we also saw a brief glimpse at another electric vehicle that looked had like it had Dodge design. This is going to be the new Dodge Hornet SUV. It's going to be an electric SUV. I believe it's going to be based on the Stella medium and or Stella large platforms. Um, so that's going to be really interesting to see how that's going to turn out. Um, the styling looks kind of like a blown up version of like a Charger or the old, if you remember the old Dodge Dart from like 10 years ago, not the original, from like 10 years ago, the modern one that kind of failed. Um, it kind of looks like a blown up SUV version of that, but very sleek, very smooth. Um, we're looking at like sketches basically. So it's, it's kind of hard to like get a real grasp for what they're going at here. So that is one thing that they're working on. And there's going to be more vehicles coming too. This is not it. There's going to be more electric Dodge products coming down the road. But, you know, this does raise the question of what's going on with the Charger and the Challenger that we have right now. Are, are they going to continue in like a gas version or are they going to be fully electric now? We didn't really get an answer on that. So we're going to have to wait and see what's going on with this. Um, interesting stuff there. We don't, again, we don't have too much other information on these new um, Dodge products. It's more of like a preview of what's going to be happening. They're predicting it's going to come out by 2024. That's a long time to wait, I think. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see. So next up, I want to move over to Ram. Um, now, the Ram EV products are primarily going to be using the new Stella Frame architecture. The Stella Frame architecture will not be exclusive to Ram, though. Um, I'm assuming that I think we're going to see a Jeep um, body on frame electric vehicle coming soon, which we saw a teaser image for. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. Now, FC, oh, FCA, I'm sorry, Stellantis, still getting the names confused. Stellantis, at least Stellantis US, um, has shown some images of a future full EV RAM, and it looks wild. Um, it's it's very early, very early on stage, so we can see in these images. Um, but I think it looks great from what they're doing so far. Um, full LED light bar up front, big um, lit RAM logo on top as well. Um, I think this is gonna be really exciting. Like I said before, this is gonna be using that Stella frame architecture. So we're gonna see up to 500 miles an hour, 500 miles of range. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see um, different battery sizes are gonna be offered there because I'm sure that's not going to be the only offering as it might be too expensive to kind of get that um, uh, amount of range out. Now this is gonna go up against vehicles like the Rivian R1T, the GMC Hummer EV pickup truck, the Cybertruck, the Ford F-150 Lightning, um, the upcoming electric Chevy Silverado. There's a lot of stuff um, of pickup trucks coming out in this segment. So we're gonna have to wait and see um, where this all goes. Now, you know, Stellantis is planning to invest $35.5 billion into the EV development. These platforms, all the stuff they want to have out by 2030. Every single one of these products is gonna be out by 2030. They want um, all the Rams to be electric by 2030 as well. So it's a big, big, big push that we're gonna have to see going forward. Um, and one of their main things that they said as a big quote is that we are not following in the footsteps of our competitors. So I'm guessing that's alluding to that weird um, thing they were talking about, REPB, whatever it was called, um, that new paradigm breaker. Um, architecture that they're working on. So again, we don't know what that is, but we're gonna have to wait and see. They said it's highly confidential for right now, and we're gonna have to wait and see um, how that comes out when it comes out in the future. So very excited to see um, new electric RAM products. I think that's gonna be a really hot segment in the um, electric um, SUV market. Next up, we have Jeep. Now, Jeep is currently formerly, or form the former F FCA's 
biggest brand. It's, I think, one of Salantis' biggest brands as well. Um, it's a global brand. It's one of their only main global brands. And they do a crazy amount of sales, as we all know, at least in the U.S. alone. Um, but worldwide, Jeep is a very recognizable and well-known um, brand. Currently, we have things like the Wrangler 4xe. In other markets, we have the Renegade and the Compass 4xe, which is their plug-in hybrid vehicles. And now, as of today, we are seeing two major things. We're seeing the first um, Grand Cherokee 4xe, but it's, they've also unveiled it in the five-door format. Oh, not the five-door, but the, the shorter wheelbase format of Grand Cherokee, um, which is the first time we're actually officially seeing the short wheelbase um, Grand Cherokee. And it, it, they're debuting it in the... Um, plug-in hybrid variant. They didn't specify exactly what powertrains are on it. I, I don't believe they did. Um, I can double check on that if, there is, if they did and I didn't see it. I'll put it down in the little box right here. Um, but expect to see like that two-liter um, four-cylinder with a plug-in hybrid powertrain, you know, 400 and something horsepower, plug-in um, avail availability over 20 miles of EV range. Um, so that's great to see as well. Now, there is some more stuff that Jeep is kind of teasing or kind of working on. Um, for their future EV stuff. We saw a teaser image of what appears to be either on the Stella Large or the Stella Frame architecture of a Jeep electric vehicle with a tire out back, but it did not look like a Wrangler. Then it, it didn't really look like a Wrangler per se. Um, it kind of looked like some kind of strange futuristic, um, almost like the Hummer EV actually. Um, so I'm really interested to see what this is gonna um, kind of ensue. Um, We'll see what happens with that. They're also working on, of course, a full electric Wrangler, and this is going to be kind of kind of similar to the um, concept of the Stella Frame architecture, where they're going to be putting the batteries throughout the frame of the vehicle. Um, but at least what we saw with that um, Jeep Wrangler um, Magneto concept that we saw a little bit not too long ago, they were doing something very interesting, where that that concept didn't have electric motors, but sort of it was sending the power through like one kind of main electric motor through the gearbox which is then sending it through transfer cases to the wheels honestly i think it's a terrible idea so i hope they don't do that and i hope they just move to the stella frame architecture and i, I say terrible idea because just the, the loss of energy and the um inefficiency of that is just silly i know they want to keep the um off-road capability of the wrangler but i believe they're able to do that very well um by just making it full ev on a different platform um, so we're gonna have to wait and see with that. I heard we also might see a new upcoming full electric next generation Renegade and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see um, where that comes out of this. Um, that's pretty much all I really want to cover in this video. Um, there's more stuff that they're mentioning. You know, um, Fiat's gonna have some stuff on their EV platforms, but Fiat's kind of pulling out of the US market. So I didn't really want to touch on them too much. And before we um, end, I'm gonna pull one more thing here, kind of like an Apple style. Oh. What is happening right now? Sorry, guys. Um, Chrysler is back. Chrysler will be coming out with a full electric SUV. Um, I was very surprised to see this. They kind of went full on and just showed it to everyone. Um, I think it's still in like a concept style form right now, but um, it looks like a very sleek, um, modern SUV. Um, the interior is the three screen layout that we've seen on the new. Um, Grand Wagoneer, so we have like their digital cluster, like a big center screen and like a, a side driver display, a uh, passenger display. Um, so the interior looks great. It looks very like a modern American luxury style theme, but they did not really talk about this too much. Um, hopefully there's a video coming out that I can try to snip in here because things are kind of coming out as I'm talking about this. I just want to get you guys the quick information as possible. Um, but that's huge. Um, and apparently there's going to be a new 300 too that's fully electric. Um, there's a quick image of that super, super sleek, stretched out sedan. Um, probably again, fully electric, probably on the cell large architecture. Um, this is huge news. Um, and if they're able to offer these numbers, the range and the stuff that they're talking about right now, this is going to be, I think an industry um, shaker. I don't think anyone was expecting them to kind of go full this big in on EVs. Um, we expected something, but this is a huge, huge push. I think, and I'm super, super excited to see where this stuff comes out of right now. Um, I know this is just like a long-term plan over the next decade, but I hope they're able to deliver something and a tangible product that was like a full EV sooner rather than later as everyone else really, I'm um, kind of a little bit ahead of them. So um, yeah, this was just a quick wrap up video kind of talking about the event that happened today. And if there's any more information, it will kind of be shoved in after I'm done talking right now. So thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for a lot more videos, updates, reviews, and more.